Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I'm here with Amy and with Kimberly. And we're gonna sit today and we're gonna minister to 10 people. Uh, and so, uh, what I do is I usually go into the comments and I see uh, who wrote their name and ask for prophetic ministry. And then there's one or two people in my life uh, that I really uh, the Lord has put them on my heart. I've got a good relationship with them, and then I'll also put their names on the list. All right. So the Lord told me about two weeks ago He wants me to prophesy every single day to ten people, and so far I've been faithful to do it, and I'm gonna do my very best to try to continue uh, to minister every day. Uh, the Lord um, called me, and my daughters must fall in line because they're part of my family but the Lord has called me and said to me Joseph I want you to speak life into people's lives and so I'm I'm obedient to that and it's also such a pleasure you know in the beginning when God tells you to do something uh, it's a little bit of a grind because you have to discipline yourself it's like when the Lord said I want you to fast I want you to pray or I want you to read I remember years ago the Lord said to me I want you to read four chapters of Bible every day and I did it for about three years uh, and I really growed, uh, grew so much over that time. And he wanted me to fast every Thursday. And so I did that. But, you know, after a while, you start to enjoy the disciplines that God gives to you. All right. So we're going to start to minister right now. Uh, the first person I want to minister to is Liana. So Liana, what the Lord is showing to me is a razor war. Now, you know, uh, here in South Africa, where we live, every town is supposed to have a razor war full of water. And then they use that water to give water to the, the, the town, okay? Uh, and I felt that the Lord says that the reservoir in your life has been low. But now the Lord is filling it up. And you're talking about anointing. You're talking about finances, favor, relationships, uh, just that overflow of the joy of God in your life. And I just see that the Lord says, just like uh, in the springtime when it rains and you get like that two, three weeks where everything is just flooded with the water so the Lord is flooding your life with the resources God bless you amen this next verse for Jane Jane the picture God should be for you is how he's giving you a treasure map um, for the end of the year and I just feel like there's a treasure that you're going to receive um, in the end of 2024 and then the next thing God showed me you know when um, when a child's like learning like math and he, and he doesn't really understand it but when another person comes and explains how it works then it, it clicks and then the child understands okay this is how algebra works or um, whatever um, topic it is and I just see how there was a thing that you were struggling with um, for such a long time trying to figure it out but then the moment you changed your environment and heard it through a different voice a new voice you heard it through the Holy Spirit or you got it to environments of different people it was like you understood so I just feel the Lord is really bringing a lot of clarity to you and the Lord says I'm with you you can do this and I just feel that God is placing a new excitement and joy in your hearts as you go in this adventure to find find um, this gift that God wants to give you. God loves you so much, Jane. God bless you. Amen, Jane. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for Ella. Ella, the Lord shows me how he's opening a champagne bottle and it's, it's, it's like a celebration to every time where we feel like, oh, I'm going, I'm going down, I'm going down. You say, no, I'm not going to choose this path. I'm going to choose the narrow way. And, the, and I just hear how the, the heavens are just singing every single time you choose and throughout your whole day, I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose the Lord's way. There is another way, but I'm going to choose his way. And the Lord says, keep going, keep going his way. Keep turning back to his way. Because sometimes we lean a little, everybody, we lean a little on the wide way. And the Lord says, Every time you make a choice to say, I'm not going to choose darkness, I'm going to choose light, there are celebrations in heaven. And the Lord is saying that he is calling you to help guide other people into the um, narrow way. Be blessed. Hello, God loves you. You're such a mother uh, in the realm of the spirit and you're such an encourager uh, and you, are, you have abundance, you're overflowing. Uh, you know, in the Bible, when it uh, is beginning and it says there is El Shaddai, he's, yeah. he's just overflowing with massive resources. And I just felt that is what the Lord is calling you to be. God bless you, Allah. All right, Paul. Um, so um, 
uh, I know we've ministered a lot to you, but uh, I just really felt today that the Lord has a very specific word for you. That's why I put your name on there and I was praying for you. Uh, and the Lord showed to me that there's 10 points to the strategy and you fulfilled the five points and there's still other five points to the strategy. And so now you feel, oh, okay, I've got the strategy. This is where I'm going. But I just felt that the Lord says there's other things that's still going to happen that you don't see, but it's going to come around the corner and but he's given you the wisdom and you're going to know how to handle it. Then I saw something interesting. I saw you were po uh, you come in your uh, home and you empty your pockets. So you take out your car keys and your phone, but then you take out money. And, but the money that was in your, in, your, in your pocket was probably like three different currencies. It was South Africans, rands, and maybe there was like dollars and maybe some other currency also, but it's like different different currencies that you took out of out of your pocket. Uh, and then I, I I felt that the Lord says that you're not only going to deal uh, in South Africa, but you're going to deal in other countries also. Then then the Lord gave me a very interesting word, and and you know in my mindset I naturally think the opposite. The Lord said to me, it's going to be better for you to buy and then later when you're done with it, sell it, than to rent it. Now I've I've done this some a few times and I see in South Africa right now, it's for me better to, to rent uh, than to buy. Uh, it's, it, it, I just did the sum and it felt to me cheaper to rent. But I felt that the Lord says in your case, you're going to be like someone you buy and then you use it for a, a period of time and then when you're done and you sell it again, not only are you going to recoup all your investment that you put in when you bought it, but you're actually going to make a profit. And so I just felt that the Lord says that there's going to be some, some decisions that you're going to have to make. And the Lord's really going to give you the resources, but it's also going to give you the wisdom so that you can grow and expand. And you don't only fulfill point number one to five on the list, but you're going to fulfill six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 also on the plan that God has for your list. And I feel, uh, and, and that's, I always feel it when I pray for you, God, I feel number six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 is going to very much involve your sons also. God bless you. Well, amen. God bless you, Paul. Um, the picture God showed me for you was how God is giving you new oil for your oil lamp. This next word is for Lynn. Lynn, God loves you very much. And I saw a picture of you baking these cookies and you made all these different batches and varieties. And I just feel how the Lord says that being with me is not a recipe. And there's a lot of things that you've done in the past, but I just see how how that that has worked but I just feel the Lord says for this season you need to come into my presence you got to get a new download of how to live life today and I will give you the wisdom that you need for this now time uh, for such a time as this Lynn I just feel God is placing courage strength dignity purity in your heart and he is calling you to rise up but also when I saw the batches of cookies I just saw multiplication so I just feel the Lord says be faithful with the things that you have now because there's a lot of multiplication that is coming and it's going to be good and it be, it's going to be a blessing to a lot of people. Lynn, you are such a blessing and God really has such an amazing plan for you. God loves you. God bless you. Amen, Lynn. Please leave us a comment. Thanks for this for Susan. The Lord shows me how he is scraping off the old and how he is, how when he's like, this is you and he's taking his hand, he's just removing the dust and removing the, the, the old and he's giving you new life, how he's breathing new life into your nostrils. The Lord shows me how he is awakening inside of you a new fire, feeding that first love flame of yours. The Lord is bringing you back to it is just you and him. You are you were there, but now you're here with him. And the Lord's saying, you are still here with me. And it is still a time to be on your knees and crying before the Lord and praising him and worshiping him in song and, and with the fullness in spirit and in truth. That is what the Lord is calling you to, to build this relationship in the fullness that, 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 it, that he has placed already in your heart. Be blessed. Hello, it's your son. So I saw an old rusted trailer on your car and you were pulling it around and on the trailer it writes the uh, sorrow and I saw how you unlock, unhook the sorrow trailer and you're done with it. You say, mm. you give it away, you say to someone else, well there's a trailer, you can use it, I, I don't want it anymore. And I just felt that the Lord says you're leaving sorrow behind. Yeah. And so in your heart there can be fear that sorrow is coming, but I felt that the Lord says no. His, his wine, his new wine, his joy, his cup that's overflowing, that is what's in your future, that is what's coming. And so I just feel uh, that the Lord says, don't expect sorrow, expect joy. God bless you, Susan. 
uh, so the next word is Annemarie Strijdom. Uh, Annemarie, uh, I see this massive creativity. So I uh, always when I think about you, I don't always think about the most creative person, but I just see how you're creative in 10 different ways and how you just enjoy yourself and you have fun and you make things with your hands and you, you get busy. And then in that whole process, I see how the father comes with his hands and he just puts it around you and he just embraces you and he says, wow, you are my daughter. I love you. I'm so, so proud of you. And, and I just felt that the Lord is just... He's this just his uh, chest is swelling with pride, and he says, "You're my my daughter. I'm proud of you, and you can do, do amazing creative things." That that's what I felt. God bless you. Amen. That's so beautiful. That's a really exciting season. God bless you, Anna Marie. God loves you. This next word is for Mr. Lawrence. Look, Mr. Lawrence, the picture God showed me for you was okay. This is an interesting picture. I saw how you went into the presence of God, and it was like you got it to like this barber shop, and how God cut your hair, and I actually saw how He colored your hair like this bright red, and, and I feel like that. <laughs> and at first you were confused, um, but then the more you know, the more you look at something, the more you. You like it and <laughs> i just feel how the lord says that it, i just i also feel it represents the fire of the holy spirit upon your head but i just feel the lord says there's a lot of things that you've been praying for you guys been praying for and trusting god and it doesn't come out the way you expect it but it's god's perfect plan and i just feel the lord says i am going to bring you surprises of joy and so much breakthrough and it's going to be it's very it's like a very mighty like red and i just feel the lord says i'm i'm giving Giving you might and strength for this season so be excited and also um and also i'd imagine you obviously gotta like um you, you can't be so serious if you have bright red hair and i just feel how the lord is really shaking off the stiffness and he's really bringing so much vibrant freedom into your life so i just feel there's a fresh anointing god is giving to you and i really feel that this is going to be a lot of a lot of breakthroughs is coming god loves you mr lawrence god bless you Amen, Mr. Lawrence. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for Miss Malvina. The Lord shows me how he's giving you these roses. And he's and, and, and he's not just giving you these roses because it's so beautiful. He says, now I want you to plant a garden. The Lord has given you seeds. And it doesn't look like a seed. But the Lord says, I want you to plant it. And I just tell you, stick those roses in the ground. And a huge, beautiful bush just, just starts to grow overnight. Because you put your faith in the Lord and... and, and to the world this doesn't look like a seed but in the Lord's hands anything is possible and he says I want you to plant it and you will see breakthrough you, I, and, I, and I feel like it's an idea the Lord is saying I want you to plant this idea in his hands but also in in action faith without works is dead the Lord wants you to start working at this idea and and see how it will grow into this amazing amazing like bush project thing that is so so beautiful be blessed Hey, Malvina, God bless you. Uh, so what I saw on you and on Lawrence, uh, a mantle that's like a team mantle that's on the both of you, covering both of you. So that's what God showed me. God bless you, uh, Malvina and Lawrence. Uh, you guys are uh, amazing people. I, 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 you just guys are awesome. So uh, I really uh, love and appreciate you. I wish I could actually come one more time there to your business and just come and pray for everyone and bless everyone because I really believe that that business of yours is just uh, um, at the level where the Lord says that there's now space for growth. So almost like you, you know, when there's, there's, there's new space, new space for expansion. I feel that's what, what, what there is in your business. So uh, God bless the two of you. Yeah, so the next word is for April. Okay, so April... Um, uh, sometimes what happens here in, in South Africa, um, in, a, in the afternoons, like four o'clock, uh, it becomes, the wind blows and then all the clouds come together. Uh, and then, you know, in 30 minutes, you could have from sunshine all the way to pitch black uh, with the clouds. Uh, and then it starts to pour rain. And sometimes it would even hail a little bit, but it would pour like big old drops of rain. So you can literally be in the rain just for five seconds and you're completely drenched. And I see how the clouds of the blessing of God, but not only blessing like financial blessing, but also the, the revival of God, healing in the family, uh, coming together, uh, birthing of the new, fruitfulness. I just see all of those things culminate like clouds. And then it's just a deluge and an outpouring of the Lord. And I felt 
it's going to be different now than it's going to be just in December, January, February, just in that few months from now till then. Massive change. How the Lord is going to bring His favor and how you're just going to be able to testify and say, wow, I can't believe what the Lord has done. And so the Lord says, great things is coming into your life. The Lord loves you so very much and the Lord is proud of you. God bless you, April. So family, thank you very much. It was such a pleasure for us to minister to you. I want to encourage you, if you are new to Unity with Heaven, just hit that like button. You can also sign up to our newsletter. If you would like for us to minister to you on the next video, which is going to be Sunday afternoon, uh, then please write your name in the comments and just say, hey, I would like to receive a prophetic ministry. Also, if you would like to uh, support Unity with Heaven, you'll see there is a PayPal link. You can hit that PayPal link and then you can also give. I love and appreciate each one of you. God bless you.